And as students get ready to return to classes in the next few weeks, we're continuing to check in with school districts across mid-Missouri on their return plans. This morning, we are joined by the president and principal of Father Tolton Catholic High School, Dr. Daniel Everett. Thank you so much for being on with us this morning. Thank you. Great to be here. Now, what are some of the options for students and families for the 2020-2021 school year? Uh, Father told him we're um, hoping and inviting all of our uh, students back on campus in the fall. Uh, our plan is to start uh, August 24th and um, we'll all be in class. We are also providing an online option for students that need to stay home for medical reasons as well. Absolutely. And what changes is, are you guys making to keep people safe from COVID-19 as students head back to the building? Right. So we were fortunate enough to have a smaller size community, student community. So we are able to um, spread out our students more. So we we've made um, a significant amount of changes in the building. We've we usually have student tables uh, and in our classroom. So we moved all the student tables out. We brought in individual student desks. Um, we are able to spread the desks six feet apart. Um, our lunch tables, we, we've changed our lunch table setup. We're using more individual uh, tables at the lunch area. Um, all of our students will be wearing masks, et cetera. And you just said all students will be wearing masks. Will you be providing those masks for them or will they need to get their own? Um, so we are allowing students to wear their own masks. Uh, and the idea there was uh, it's difficult to wear a mask enough and we would like the, op the students to have the option to find the mask that best fits them and, and makes their day the most comfortable. So. Yeah, and will there be any changes to any attendance policies or sick leave for teachers if they get sick from COVID-19? Uh, that's a great question. So we, we are expecting that there will be students out on quarantine for various reasons throughout the year and, and teachers as well. So we are making adjustments to our attendance policies um, with specifically related to COVID-related uh, absences. So we'll, we'll have a lot of leniency there for students. Um, teachers and staff will also be given an additional 10 days of uh, sick leave for um, COVID-related issues. So um, we're hoping to that this will enable the year to con continue to run uh, smoothly. And what is the plan for if someone does test positive for COVID-19? Great question. So if someone tests positive for COVID-19, um, our plan is uh, we have a very specific plan in place about how we're going to approach that situation. Uh, we're going to work with the health department to do contact tracing. Uh, but really, our, our, uh, the goal and the plan that we've set up is that we've designed the system around the expectations of the local health department. So um, with all the social distancing and the, and the uh, face covering requirements and the, cl the cleaning, we're hoping that that will reduce the, the need for, for certain people to go out on quarantine. So if, um, if we do have someone or when we have someone contact uh, test positive for COVID-19. The idea is that with contact tracing, we'll only have to have a very small number of people uh, go off the quarantine as well. Now, we talked a little bit about social distancing in our last half hour, and there can be some crowded times in school hallways and at other times. How will that look at Father Tolton? Sure, so um, again, all our students um, are willing this year. Um, which will help with the, the social distancing and the, the issues and the concerns of the virus. Um, hallways will be divided in half. We have a left and a right and everyone has to keep moving. Um, we're also, we're not using our lockers this year. Um, so that will cut down on gathering in the hallways um, uh, to, keep, to keep the traffic moving and to keep everyone safe. Absolutely. And will there be any health screenings in place? I know students will be coming back to the school building. So will there be any health screenings in place when they come into school? Yes, so everyone that enters the building will have their temperature scanned. Um, we actually are purchasing a thermal sensing camera. So as people walk in the building, the camera will be detecting their temperatures. We'll also be um, asking people to self-assess for symptoms as well. Uh, if someone has an elevated temperature, we'll, we'll move them to the side into a designated area and, um, and retest their temperature and, uh, and move, move forward from there. Now, things had to shut down fairly quickly last spring. Are there any changes to curriculum to maybe make up for some things that may have been missed out on at the end of last year? Yes, yeah, so um, last year was, I think everyone experienced what I would call crisis education, um, which you know we were dealing with the reality of the situation and we were making the best of the situation. So 
Uh, this year, now we have the summer, we've had time to prepare more and to really think about what that looks like if we have to go online again. Um, and we, we've, we took the proactive approach this year to, to help students that were struggling in the, in the spring and, and kind of help catch them up over the summer um, to, to give everybody a level playing field for the fall. Yeah, and then are there any backup plans in case we kind of have to make that switch to virtual again this year? Yes, so um, we're working hard to uh, to create a plan to really learn from our experiences from the spring. Uh, we're taking uh, survey data from all our constituents, from the students, the parents, the faculty members, and really trying to really qu question, if we have to go online, what does that look like and how can we best do that? Making changes to schedules, um, taking into account uh, connectivity concerns in, in specific households and so on and so forth. So really trying to take a proactive approach to, to preparing for the, uh, the event if that happens. Now are there any extra sanitization measures in place as students get ready to come back to the school? Uh, yes, so we've taken a lot of uh, attention to detail this year uh, in the plans. So we'll be um, outfitting every classroom with sanitization materials, hand sanitizer, wipes, sprays, paper towels and everything and the student desk will be cleaned between each use, supplies will be cleaned and sanitized between each use whenever possible. Um, also the lunch tables will be cleaned before and after use and it's, it's really going to try and be, we're trying to make it a cultural shift to, to, be, to focus on cleanliness this year. Yeah, and maybe not a bad cultural shift to be focusing Thank on you. cleanliness. Good point. Not a bad cultural <laughs> shift, but the sense of uh, we're going to make give make it an extra important detail that we are uh, we're hitting as much as we can sanitizing everything. Absolutely. And what kind of events, <laughs> clubs, or sports will be allowed at the school, and how might they look a little different than in the past? Yes. Yeah, so um, we are planning on moving ahead with our sports. Um, we're working with Misha guidelines to to make sure we're meeting all their concerns and and all the concerns of uh, that were put out by Desi and. We're going to uh, move ahead with sports, but we're going to take make sure that we implement um, our social distancing policies as much as possible, uh, one of the sidelines and mask wearing and et cetera like that. We also have all of our clubs and activities we're planning on um, going ahead with as much as possible that will allow within the within the plans. Um, so club activities will still meet. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have dances or not. That's That might be a lot to ask. But... Um, we will be moving ahead and our, our student leaders have already met several times this summer to really try and wrap our minds around what it, what can we do to really keep the, the excitement and the culture and the connectivity going while still maintaining social distancing and safety. Absolutely and there's just a lot of changes really over the last six months and things will look different as we move into this school year. What are some of the big things that students can expect as they head back into the classroom? Sure. So students, as they head back into the classroom, um, we can we can expect uh, you know the social distancing and learning uh, in new ways, uh, having to to learn how to um, to interact and do group work, but still stay social distance. Um, one of the other things, everyone will be wearing masks, so uh, we'll be outfitting our teachers with microphones to uh, to aid in to voice lift uh, and to make sure that everyone can still learn effectively whenever possible.